Hi everyone, I'm Nadia and in today's video I'm making tea light candle holders with real flowers. I have all of my molds out and ready and the first thing I'm doing is making sure that they're clean by taking some tape onto my fingers and going over the inside area. And this will pick up any small dust particles, fibers, or hairs that have gotten stuck into the mold. And once my molds are clean, I mix in my part A and B resin together for several minutes. And in today's video, I'm using B20 Jewel Cast Resin by Deepon. As usual, I'll have all the products that you see in this video listed in my description, so be sure to give that a look if you're interested. After I've mixed thoroughly, I pour it into another cup and mix again just to make sure that all areas have been mixed well. Then I start pouring a small amount into each mold. I'm being careful not to pour too much and for this you'll have to read the instructions on your resin bottle. Each resin can pour up to a certain amount of thickness and if you pour too much the resin will heat up a lot causing it to stick onto the mold and ruin your mold and your resin piece. So this is something that you want to be mindful of while you're pouring. This is why this is going to be done in many layers. I use a torch gun to pop any air bubbles and with these molds it's a little bit tricky so I'm being very careful and I'm also making sure that the flame on my torch gun is on low. Then I take some of my flowers that I've set aside and are ready to use. These are full flowers that have been dried and I start to place them into the molds. I recently shared a video casting my wedding bouquet in resin and in the beginning of the video I showed how we dried those flowers so if you're interested in that I'll leave it linked above. I use a thin wooden stick to help move the flowers around. I'm also adding in some eucalyptus leaves that have been dried by air. I allow that layer to harden and come back the next day to mix up my resin once more. And I'm taking this time now to remove some of the stems from the flowers that are sticking up. I pour in my resin once more into each mold. And again, I add in more flowers. And because this is being done in layers, the process is very repetitive. Same as in the video where I cast in my wedding bouquet. You're adding small layers of resin and allowing it to harden, coming back the next day and adding another layer. And you do that process until the mold has been completely filled with resin. So I am going to fast forward a lot of this footage just so that I don't bore you guys too much. I do just want to take a moment to say thank you for all the support that we've been receiving. I really enjoy creating this content for you guys. And if you'd like to help support my channel and creating these videos, it would mean a lot if you check out my Patreon page linked in my description. Along with supporting out my channel, you'd also receive some bonus content, behind the scenes, and some tips and tricks. Thank you. 
As I'm coming close to the top of the molds now, I decided to take some purple tinted glass and add some into the molds. Again, I use a wooden stick to help adjust the placement. I rip the eucalyptus leaves into small pieces and add them into the molds. Here I am the next day demolding. I did try to demold one on camera for you guys. It is a little tricky to demold, especially in the angle of making sure that it's on camera. But these are very satisfying to demold. I tried to show you guys as many as I could, but did the rest off camera, basically in my lap. And here's the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.